Let's put you like here. Just jump down. Get you all nice and level. Hopefully I can catch some wildlife or something because I swear there's something in my room eating. Eating like the wires and rubbish. I don't know what it is. It's not one of them. But I'm going to catch it. Oh, it's finished. I should cut down on the forbidden knowledge books. Yeah. <laughs> Topless witches caught eating deer carcass in a strange security camera footage. I didn't think there would be any like, I don't know, witches or feral people still. Where the hell is your security camera for you to catch something like this? Like, it's got to be in the woods or something, but where? Where in the world would there be feral people that we don't know about running around naked? You know what I mean? Like, something we would probably have maybe seen more of them just this one time? You know? Because you really only have security cameras for, like, when you're, like, like when you're, like, a neighbourhood or near where hu human civilization is. Why are they naked? <laughs> as well before anyone gets any weird I weird thoughts and ideas so like oh naked women out in the woods oh yeah they don't look anything like you know this or this you know they're not gonna be there all sex like they are going to probably eat your face like the little kids from you know a lot of feral kids are from that horror movie mama <laughs> they're gonna be like that mate nothing like how you you imagine a witch would be okay <laughs> Look at that. What the hell? Is that his hand? Is that a hand? What the hell's going on with that? That is... It looks like a hand or something. Or maybe it's part of the deer. A woman is convinced that pictures from her security shows two witches taking part in a carcass-eating ritual in the dead of night just yards outside our home. Uh, Corny, uh, Corny Stanhope, 36, from Powell River, Canada, found a dead deer at the bottom of her garden while riding one of her horses and decided to set up a trail camera to see if it would catch, attract any animals during the night. What Stanhope, what Stanhope foresaw instead will send shivers down your spine. <laughs> Two naked women eating your carcass deer. No God! And this is in Canada. Or should we blame the images on TV? No, blame Canada. Blame Canada. Okay, now we know where all the witches went. So weird. <laughs> Oh, there's no video and that, but that is really, really creepy. It could be all set up, but but uh, that's that's kind of concerning. If you if that's just outside your garden, you know what I mean. That you've got these two of humans. Well, yeah, probably yeah, humans doing this shit at, in your garden of all places. You wouldn't really um, want to live there anymore, would you? <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> She couldn't believe her eyes when her her and her granddad Bob, seventy six, watched the footage the next day and the saw and saw two mysterious figures around the corpse. The image from the security camera appears to show the two figures with long matte black hair, wearing only a piece of cloth to cover their uh, buttocks, while they stand over the dead deer, with uh, their hair covering their faces. Uh, faces. The figures appear to be squat down and reach over to the carcass with long fingers before picking up the hoof and taking a bite. So that is its hand. That is its, it's really long hand finger thing. Okay, I think you didn't find witches, mate. I think you found mutants. <laughs> Got you. Take this! Ow! I came the next day and Grandpa said, he's got naked people on the camera and I said, no, you didn't. Bullshit. So he showed me. Stafford said about the moment her granddad told her about the footage. I don't know what the heck was up with that. It really freaked us out. It's not something you see every day. No shit, only in horror movies, mate. And you know what happens in them. You should 
leave the house and never go back. Nope. You know, just do that. Don't try and fight them off because you end up dying like you do in the movie. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. This shit, I'm out. They came 10 minutes after sunset. They it looked like they have wigs on. One looks like she has blonde hair underneath. Okay, so they're wearing wigs, so they're dressing up. The mum of three says she was left understandably terrified because her house is only a two-minute walk from where the two women were spotted lurking. See what I mean? Fucking run! <laughs> You can't really tell from the photo, but the hoof was brought right up to her mouth, she explains. I don't know if she was kissing it, smelling it, or eating. That into me. Give your meat a good old rub. <laughs> yeah, boy. But to touch a decaying carcass like that makes me feel sick. The amount of bacteria that must be on, on there. Yeah, but leftover food. That's what that's what she's that, that witch is thinking. Maybe they were paying their respects, but they were naked. Yeah, that's the thing. They were naked. What? Why? It, it, it's like, it wouldn't be a joke then, really, would it? Because you wouldn't want to take a joke this far where you go butt naked in the woods just to look at a carcass, would you? You wouldn't do that for a joke. I don't think anyone would. Maybe they're just some, I don't know, hippies that have just had too much of me drugs or something. I don't know. This is not the depiction of what you would think a witch would be, is it? Because everyone just thinks of, like, you know, from the witcher. Jennifer and Therese. Yeah, that was it. I'd lost hope that you'd appear. We couldn't wait for you to show. Uh, yeah, don't think you're gonna be getting lucky, guys, by going to where she lives. Cause, yeah, <laughs> you're not gonna get what you think, mate. You are gonna probably end up being sacrificed to Demo, Demo Teb or Nelafotep or Cthulhu or something. You never know. I don't know which demon they, they, like, they worship. Sisters. Zoinks! It's the witches! Another said, that's that's a skinwalker. They look human, so you can come uh, so you can come up to them and once you do, you're gone. A third commenter wrote, I'll say Wendigo, stay safe please, and don't go out there. Ah yeah, Wendigo. Could be a Wendigo. That's even worse if it's a Wendigo. That's just 10 times, because if you don't know about Wendigos, um, they spread their curses, and also they are very, very aggressive. There's rumours around town about a cult that collects animal bones. Stanhope shared, I don't know if it's real or not. Stanhope says she was tempted to contact the police, but Bob pointed out that they weren't doing anything illegal, and she hopes that some passerbys spotted the camera and decided to play a prank. Could actually be that. Could be them dressing up like Wendigo's home, or they could actually be real life skinwalkers or witches. Okay, everyone, that was today's video. Let me know what you think. Is it a witch, a Wendigo, or a skinwalker? Or, so, so, or some crackles? <laughs> I don't know. Because I think it's a bit too extreme for a prank. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think, guys, in the comments. And I'll see you all.